Hello everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today we are doing another Mosaic Monday and in today's tutorial we're going to learn this pattern right here which is version number two of pattern number 27. So last week I did the kind of zigzag version that's in this chart set as a tutorial and this week I am going to teach this diamond variation that's in that chart set so that you guys can use those two tutorials together to make any project that you would like. I also want to point out that down in the description, I'm going to be linking a few other tutorials that you can use that are also multiple of nine plus three. So those videos along with pattern number 27, both of the tutorials for it can all be used together in one project if you would like. And that's for those of you who don't want to do any math for other designs that will also work with today's tutorial. So we have first and foremost, last week's tutorial, this is the sample. This is pattern number 27, version number five from the chart set. So if you're using your chart set, you were looking at the chart that was number five in that. So these two designs are pattern number 27 chart set. So we're gonna do this one today, but you can join on to your existing work and that'll be explained in the video for those of you who want to use these two together. And I did want to point out that we can also add to this mix. Pattern number one, the remastered version is done in a multiple of nine plus three. So that is another pattern that you can add and use together, as well as pattern number 19, which is this kind of like arrowy zigzag. And that one can be used. Here's another sample of it in different size yarn. So pattern 19, Pattern number one, remastered tutorial, pattern 27, version number five, and today's tutorial, which is pattern 27, version number two, can all be used together in a project without having to do any math. I'll link those down below for you guys. For today's tutorial, though, we're going to grab some supplies and get started, and we're going to work this pattern now. So today I'm going to be using these two yarns. Both of these are Stylecraft Special Double Knit. This colorway is gray. This colorway is boysenberry. So you are going to want to pick two colors of yarn and we're going to be starting out in color B for this design. If you are joining on to existing work, like let's say you are doing um, pattern number 27, version number 5 from last week, you're going to want to join on at row two so you would be doing color a for your first row and then join on and work the rest of the rows with us so that's for you guys joining on to existing work for everyone else who is going to start with this pattern you're going to chain in color b in your multiple of nine plus three at the end i'm going to chain a total of 21 chains so that's two repeats of the nine plus three at the end if you want to work this in the round, you are just going to chain in your multiple of nine over and over and then slip stitch to the first chain that you made to form a ring. Then you will follow each row's repeat given in this video to follow along and work it in the round. We're going to work flat, so I'm going to begin by getting a starting chain ready. So you need to do the same and then meet back up with me for row number one. Row one begins by skipping the very first chain and going here into the second chain from our hook. So you always want to make sure that you're skipping one chain when you're starting your project. So we want to go here into the second and we're going to go under the V and do a traditional single crochet. So we're working completely in that stitch. And now our repeat for row number one begins and our repeat for the entire row is working in the back loop only doing a single crochet in each and every stitch so all we need to do is pick up our back loop and work in that just like normal doing a single crochet so there's one so i'm going to do this all the way down my row picking up back loop and working only in that so you may pause here and meet back up with me when you're at the end of your row and we'll finish out together with our traditional single crochet. For those of you who are advanced and know 
how to set up your mosaic projects, you can go ahead and skip ahead to row three where the mosaic work will begin. And we'll be back in just a moment. We are here at the end of row one and all of our rows are going to end exactly the same way. So you'll finish your repeat and you will have a one stitch left at the end of each and every row. And you're going to always make sure that you go under that V and work a traditional single crochet in this last stitch of every single row. So now from here, you're going to chain up and bind off however you prefer and we'll be joining on color A to do row number two next. For row two, I'm joining on now with color A, and we make sure that we go into that very first stitch of the row, draw up our loop, and then we need to chain one. And that's just to get started. Now we're gonna go back into the same exact stitch and do our traditional single crochet again here in this first stitch. And that is how you begin every single row when you're adding on your new color every row. So now from here, our repeat for row two is exactly the same as row one. We're going to be picking up the back loop and working a single crochet in that back loop of every single stitch all the way down. And then we will end the row with the traditional single crochet in the very last stitch. That's all you need to do. So you may pause here, work a back loop only single crochet in every stitch all the way down. Throughout the rest of this tutorial, I'll be referring to these as single crochets when we're working our repeat stitches. So we'll be back in just a moment for row number three. End of row two. We have one stitch left. We do our traditional single crochet. Just as a little reminder for the newbies who are watching. Now on to row three. Row three's repeat begins now. We've joined on here with color B this time, and we're going to begin our repeat by doing two double crochets in the next two stitches. So to work that double crochet, we wrap just like a normal double crochet, identify our stitch, we slide directly down and pick up the front loop, two rows below. Now we just from here pull up a loop and finish a normal double crochet. So nothing different about it except for the placement. So we need to do a total of two. So there's one and here's number two. Now we're going to do a total of five single crochets over the next five stitches. So right here, there's number one, number two, number three, number four, Number five. Now we will do two double crochets over the next two stitches. So number one. And number two. And that ends our repeat for row number three. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat for row number three began over here when we did a total of two double crochets, five single crochets, and two double crochets. So we're just gonna start our repeat back over and keep working that exact same manner on down the rest of our row, repeating those same stitches. So we start back over with our two double crochets. And then five single crochets, two double crochets. So you may pause here, meet back up with me when you are ready 
for row number four. Row four begins by joining on this time with color A, and we're gonna begin our repeat immediately. And that repeat begins by doing a total of two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's number one and number two. Two double crochets. One and two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. There's one. And number two. We will end the repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. One and number two. That ends our repeat for row number four. So we're gonna recap what we just did. We started out our repeat with two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets ends the repeat. So you'll start back over and keep working on down the rest of your row in that same exact set of stitches. So we'll be back in just a moment. Row five begins by joining on with color B, and we're going to begin our repeat for row five immediately by doing one double crochet right here into the very next stitch. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's number one. Number two, number three. We're gonna do one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. We're going to end our repeat by doing one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. That ends our repeat for row number five. So let's recap what we did. Row five's repeat began over here when we did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you're gonna repeat that same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row. So remember you're starting out with your double crochet and you'll keep working on from there. So we'll be back in just a moment for row number six. Row six begins by joining on this time with color A, and we begin the repeat for row number six immediately by doing one single crochet right here into this very next stitch. Two double crochets. One 
one and here's number two three single crochets one two and three two double crochets one and number two and we will end with one single crochet right here in this very next stitch and that ends our repeat for row number six row six's repeat began over here when we did one single crochet two double crochets three single crochets two double crochets and it ended with one single crochet so you'll start back over working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row and we'll meet back up in just a moment for row number seven row seven begins by joining on with color b and we begin the repeat for row number seven immediately by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches one two and three now we're going to do one double crochet right here into this very next stitch one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets one two and number three that ends our repeat so let's recap what we just did row sevens repeat began over here and we did a total of three single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet and three single crochets so if you take a look at what you're doing you're just working single crochets across until you get to this little opening right here and that's where you're placing double crochet single crochet double crochet so you're just forming those little square boxes right there so you can pause and you'll keep working on down the rest of your row we'll meet back up for row number eight in just a moment row eight begins by joining on with color a this time and we begin the repeat for row eight immediately by doing two double crochets over the next two stitches there we go here's one double crochet and number two We will now do two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's one and number two. One double crochet. Two single crochets one and two and we'll end our repeat by doing two double crochets over these next two stitches there's one 
and number two. And that ends our repeat. So a repeat for row number eight began over here when we did two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So we're just gonna keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of our row, and then we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number nine. Row nine begins by joining on with color B. Our repeat for row number nine will begin immediately by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's number one and number two. We'll now do one double crochet here into this very next stitch. three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and number three. One double crochet here into the very next stitch. And we end the repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. One and two. And that ends our repeat. So now let's recap our repeat for row number nine. Our repeat for row nine began over here when we did two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So just start to repeat back over, and we'll be back in just a moment for row number 10. Row 10 begins by joining on with color A. Our repeat for row number 10 begins immediately by doing one double crochet here into the very next stitch. Now we're going to do a total of two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and number two. We're going to do a total of one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet right here into this section. So we're going to do one double crochet. One single crochet. And one double crochet. Now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's number one and number two. And we end our repeat by doing one double crochet right here into this next stitch. And that ends our repeat. So our repeat for row number 10 began over here when we did one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet. So you're going to start back over and begin your repeat again and keep working on down the rest of your row. We'll meet back up in just a moment for row number 11. Row 11 begins by joining on with color B. And our repeat for row 11 begins by doing one single crochet 
here into this very next stitch. We'll now do one double crochet right here. We will do two single crochets over the next two stitches. Number one and number two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two, one double crochet, and we end our repeat with one single crochet right there. So that ends our repeat for row 11. So let's recap our repeat for row 11. Started over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and one single crochet. So you're going to keep working that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row number 12. Join on for row number 12 with color A. Then we can begin our repeat immediately and that repeat begins by doing a total of two single crochets over these next two stitches. Here's number one and number two. We'll now do one double crochet here into this next. three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet, two single crochets. one and two and that ends our repeat for row number 12 so let's recap that repeat row 12's repeat began over here and we did two single crochets one double crochet three single crochets one double crochet and we end with two single crochets so you'll just start back over with the two single crochets and keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment. Row 13 begins by joining on this time with color B. Our repeat for row 13 begins immediately with one double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, three double crochets, there's one, two, and three. Two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet right here, very next stitch. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap row 13. So row 13's recap 
or repeat and began over here when we did one double crochet, two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. Just start back over, keep working that same set of stitches, and we'll be back in just a moment. Row 14 begins by joining on with color A. And now we begin the repeat for row 14 immediately by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. Let's get into focus. There we go. So here's number one. And number two. We'll now do one double crochet. Three single crochets. One double crochet. And we end with two single crochets. One and two. And that ends our repeat for row 14. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row 14 began over here with two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and it ends with two single crochets. So you're going to keep working that same set of stitches, and then we'll be back for row 15. Row 15 begins by joining on with color B. Our repeat for row 15 begins immediately by doing one single crochet here into this very next stitch. Now we're going to do one double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, two single crochets. One and two, one double crochet, and we end our repeat by doing one single crochet right here into that next stitch. That ends our repeat for row 15. So let's recap that repeat. So our repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you'll start back over and keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row, and then we'll be back for row number 16. Row 16 begins by joining on this time with color A. We begin the repeat for row 16 by doing a double crochet right here into our very next stitch. We will now do two single crochets, one and two, 
one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two and one double crochet will end our repeat right here very next stitch and that ends our repeat for row 16. so let's recap that repeat our repeat for row 16 began over here when we did one double crochet two single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet two single crochets and we end with one double crochet so you'll start over with that same set of stitches and keep working on down the rest of your row we'll meet back up in just a moment for row 17. row 17 begins by joining on this time with color b and we begin our repeat for row number 17 immediately and that repeat begins by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches Here's one and number two. One double crochet. Going to do three single crochets. One. Two and three one double crochet two single crochets one and two and that ends our repeat for row 17 so let's recap that repeat our repeat for row 17 began with two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So you'll keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row, and we will meet back up when you're ready for row number 18. Row 18 begins by joining on with color A this time. Our repeat for row 18 begins by doing two double crochets. So right here, there's our first double crochet. One and number two. Now we're going to do two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two, and we end with two double crochets to end our repeat. So here's number one and number two. And that ends our repeat for row 18. So let's recap that repeat. Row 18's repeat began over here when we did two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we did two double crochets to end the repeat. So you'll start back over with the two double crochets and keep working that same set of stitches. And then we'll meet back up for row number 19. Row 
row 19 begins by joining on color B. We begin the repeat for row 19 immediately and that repeat begins by doing three single crochets over the next three stitches. Here's number one, number two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. two and three and that ends our repeat for row 19. so row 19's repeat began over here when we did a total of three single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet and then three single crochets will end that repeat so you'll start back over with your three single crochets just like normal and work that same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row and we'll meet back up for row 20 in just a moment. Row 20 begins now by joining on with color A and we're going to begin the repeat for row 20 with one single crochet. There's one single crochet two double crochets, there's one, and here is number two. We're going to do three single crochets. There's one, two, and three. Two double crochets. There's one and two. And one single crochet right here into this next stitch we'll end our repeat for row 20. so let's recap that repeat row 20's repeat began over here when we did one single crochet two double crochets three single crochets two double crochets and we end with one single crochet so you'll start back over with that single crochet and keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row and we'll be back in just a moment for row 21. Row 21 begins by joining on with color B. And we're going to begin the repeat for row 21 with one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two and three and we will end our repeat with one double crochet so that ends the repeat for row 21 so let's recap row 21's repeat started over here with one double crochet 
three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and one double crochet ends that repeat. So you'll start back over at the beginning of your repeat and keep working that same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row. Row 22 begins by joining on with color A. Row 22 is our final row. So we are going to begin the repeat for row 22 by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's one. And here is number two. Two double crochets. one and two one single crochet two double crochets there's one and here is number two. And we'll end the repeat by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one. And here is number two. And that ends our repeat for row 22. So let's recap that. Our repeat started over here with two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So we'll start our repeat back over with two single crochets. One and two. Two double crochets. One and two. one single crochet, two double crochets, one and two, two single crochets, ends our repeat, one and two. And for me, since I'm at my row end, I finish off with a traditional single crochet in that very last stitch. So from here, let's talk about moving up for additional repeats of the pattern. You guys can move up by rewinding back to row number three, which is all linked down in the description. I've got all the row start times down there. So you'll go down to the description and you're gonna go back to row number three and you're gonna repeat rows three through 22 over and over as many times as you would like to achieve a larger project. To finish up your project, once you have repeated rows three through 22 as many times as you would like, I suggest that you repeat row three again as your final row, and that will give you a much more even look to the start of your project and the end, the very last row when you end it all out. I also do recommend if you are finishing, I'm not here, I'm going to be moving up for another repeat, but if you are finished, you can also either do a single crochet row also in color B to finish it out or a slip stitch row and that will give you a thicker line to the top of your project to kind of more match here with the bottom of your project. So hopefully that information is helpful to you. A lot of people have asked how to finish out so I wanted to point that out for this pattern I appreciate you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial please feel free to leave a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up or do both it is greatly appreciated regardless until next time bye for now